Gaffer, obviously not the result we were looking for today. How would you sum up the game? Uh, it's just disappointing, really. You know, we I thought first half we were very good, and second half we were very poor. You know, that sums it up in in, in a nutshell. Um, I, I thought that we, you know, we we didn't start the game particularly great. Uh, first ten minutes, I thought we were kind of slow, and it, it made them it invited a press on, and they kind of got on the front foot and pressed us. But then once the game opened up a little bit, I thought we were better. Um, so I thought we, we actually did really well in the first half, thought we created some chances. Um, and then second half, you know, they scored early, which, you know, you, with the long throw into the box, it was kind of a second phase from the, from the long throw. Um, and then we never played, for me, second half at all. I thought we were... I thought we kind of reverted. We made it, made it end-to-end game, which suited them rather than us. Um, but the boys... The boys have taken a lot of information in a, in a short period of time. First half was encouraging, second half kind of reverted probably back to what they've been doing, maybe, I don't know, but, um, you know, there's real signs of encouragement in that first half, but we've got, to, we've got to stick to what we do, and we didn't. Is there anything in particular you think did change in that second half? Because you could say in the first half we were sort of unlucky not to come to half-time with, with two or three goals. Yeah, the goal changed it, really, because, you know... The goal changed it because when we felt that we had to be rushed with our actions, um, it was 47 minutes, I believe, when they scored. You know, we didn't have to rush anything, just carry on playing um, and, and kind of find that calmness within the chaos, and we didn't do that, certainly in the second half anyway. You know, and you know, the goal changed it, and we, we kind of felt rushed. There's no rush needed, you know. We, we just needed to be calm and carry on playing. We'd have been fine, but, you know, it, it wasn't us at all, second half. Yeah, a couple of debutants today, but also a first start for Ben Gladwin as captain. I think he'd be probably unhappy that he didn't score that chance in the first half after doing so well as well. Yeah, he picked the ball up in the middle of the pitch, didn't he, and, and drove through the middle and kind of carried his run on, got it back. And, um, you know, it was a tight angle for him, I think, to finish. But um, I thought he was very good first half. And, you know, like I say, I think second half was a, it became a difficult game. Glad, Glad's wants to play in a team that control and dominate, you know, and when it becomes end to end, it's kind of not his, his, his game, you know, and, um, and I think that, that goes for a lot of players out there, you know, we, we had to kind of be more controlled than, than we was, you know. Obviously, Kellen Gordon making his first start as well. Can I get your thoughts on him as a signing, what he will bring, and also his performance today? Well, uh, he'll bring an attacking threat, you know, I think that it's clear to see he wants to get forward. Um, you know, the longer he's with us, the better he'll become because obviously we'll coach him and he'll understand kind of patterns and when to go forward, when not to. Um, so he'll only get better. Um, you know, I thought he had a, um, you know, moments in the game where he really pushed forward and became that attacking threat. Um, but probably too, uh, too far, you know, uh, not too, not too many of them actions. You know, uh, but as we go and as we coach him and as he's with the group, he'll, he'll get better at that. And on another day, this game probably could have had five or six goals. Corey Dye kept us in it twice with two unbelievable saves. Yeah, we we, we become under threat uh, on a few occasions. Um, like I say, we we made the game end to end, um, and it, like I say, it suited them. Um, they put the ball on us. You know, they put the ball in the box a lot from throw-ins, from free kicks, from from corners, from open play. You know, they just kind of put it on us, and like I say, we didn't. We coped with it to a degree, but obviously with the long throw, the second phase of the long throw, we didn't cope with that moment. Um, but then we didn't settle the ball down and play in any way. You know, we, we, we kind of got, I suppose, fell into their trap a little bit. And we not only saw you appreciate and go and applaud the fans after the game, but also before the game. It was an amazing support today, wasn't it? Brilliant support. You know, they were brilliant throughout the game as well. I'm just really gutted that we've not given them something to cheer about today. So... You know, I'm, I'm big on the fans, you know, they were fantastic, come out in their numbers, sang all the way through the game. Like I say, we, we wanted them to go away happy, um, you know, so disappointed for that. Corey, obviously not the performance and the sort of result we wanted today. How would you sum it up? Um, I think it was a game of two halves, really. I thought in the first half we were, we were really good in possession. I thought like we built up from the back really well. We were stringing passes together, connections and stuff, that like, was really good. And then obviously in the second half we could see the early goal and then... Obviously, it's a it's an upward climb from there. So, I just think that we need to be more braver and stuff. Obviously, we said it in the changing room today, just then after the game, that like we need to be more brave and basically just keep doing the things that are identity. So, keep doing what we're we're good at. Keep passing the ball. Keep moving it. Keep keep doing these things. 
that we speak about every day in training and that instead of trying to change up the game because we go 1-0 down and we're, chase the, we're chasing the game, just trust the process really. I think that's, that's probably the biggest message from today's game, like trust the process and what we're doing because we can do it. You can see in the first half, we create, what, three, four chances where I mean, I'm in goal here at the other end thinking that's 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. I'm thinking they're goals. And obviously the goals will come and I, I really do believe in the boys. I really do believe that we'll get goals and stuff. Like we've got people like Dom, everyone knows that he's a he's a sharp shooter. He will score. So just have to keep trusting what we're doing all the time and then the results will come our way. Yeah, I spoke to Scott and we, we said we were unlucky not to have two or three by half time. But obviously that the timing of the goal did have a big impact on our performance, I think, didn't it? Um, yeah, obviously it's not good like we come out with a game plan for the second half to continue to do what we're doing, and then we can see the early goal. Well, I don't know what I don't know what the official time was. I think it was probably like 46 minutes or something in, and uh, you just think like, right, we have to chase. We have, we got 45 minutes to score now. We've got to keep the ball, keep moving it, keep playing. And when we're doing that, I think that we have way more chance in coming back in the game than we do then. Like, no disrespect to Don, but he's not a he's not an out and out target man. So we're kicking the ball up there, and it's difficult for him. He's not. He's not someone that's six foot plus, so that's going to help us win headers and stuff. He's someone that wants to ball on the floor, connecting passes. So I think that we have to really look at that. And I think that we will do in training. I think we do. We, 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 that, that's the stuff we do work on every, week, every every day. So we just we just have to believe in it, really. I think and to be more brave. Yeah, and you were called into action on a few occasions too. Unbelievable saves in particular. Have you got any memory of them? Um, yeah, obviously the, the I think. The goal was off. Obviously, I've saved the goal, yeah. and then uh, they scored the rebound. And then, uh, yeah, the one against Nico, obviously, um, going across goal. Yeah, this, this is, as Gaffer said last week, um, that's my job, like, do you know what I mean, sort of thing. So, got to kick the ball out. Uh, obviously, I try my best, and I just try and make sure that I keep the goals down to a minimum. So, yeah. Yeah, and unlike last week, results weren't in our favour today, so it's getting a bit tight again back down there. We've got a big game against Crew next week, and we need the fans behind us, don't we? Yeah, of course we need the fans behind us. You can see them today coming out and supporting us and stuff. Like Obviously, at the end and that, they're still with us. You can see after after they're clapping us and stuff, after the game. So I know that they're behind us and it, it's a big help having... They've brought, I don't know, what was it? Was it 800? 800, 800, 800, 750, yeah, yeah. 750, 800 fans today. That's a good turnout. So we obviously just want them to keep supporting us and keep keep helping us get over that line every every week. And you know what? Like We do it. We, we do, do it for the fans. Like We do want to come out and win every game and we do... We do work hard behind the scenes. I know that people don't really see that and stuff, but obviously with you guys and the media team now, they're just getting more insight. But we do work hard and we do we do want to win games. Like we're not just here for a jolly up. So I do I do really want hope the fans do like stick by us for the whole season and and what will be will be. Like, but I do believe that our team is more than capable enough to get ourselves out of this position. Corey, well played. Thank you. <laughs>